It's a beautiful bluebird day here on Buttermilk Mountain in Aspen, Colorado for X Games Aspen 2019 as we get set to kick off a brand new event here at the X Games. It is the Jeep Wrangler X Challenge. Welcome everyone. Jimmy Coleman here in the booth sitting alongside Chris Barant. We've got Diana Dahlgren out there in the field. And well, we've got four, count them, four drivers in the mix for you out here today. They're going to have to contend with a very technical course here, Chris, and it's all about the best time out here today that's going to get you the win. Well, so much excitement, new event, and talk about competitors. We have a stacked field here. No strangers to medals. This guy, Brian Deegan, good to see him back at Winter X. Oh, yeah, he's a longtime veteran competitor going all the way back to 1999, the first ever freestyle Moto X event at an X Games. But this gentleman right here, the man to beat, Casey Curry. Look at those stats right there. Competing in the Dakar Rally January, uh, earlier this month, as a matter of fact. He is uh, going to be the man to beat. Why? Because this is his stock and trade, Chris. This well, is what he does day in and day out. Just so much experience on four wheels. Curry is going to be the man to beat here. Well, if you're wondering uh, what is the Jeep Wrangler X Challenge right now, let's take a look. When I heard about the Jeep Wrangler X Challenge, I was right at the front with my hand up. The obstacles on the course were made specifically to really showcase what the Jeep vehicles can do. It's a super unique collection of athletes. It's pretty cool just to see the different styles of driving. It's very technical. You're not gonna just flat out through the course and just bam, 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 bam. I got on the course, first obstacle, I hung it. It's about pacing yourself. Tag those points and make educated decisions and that's what it's all about. Yeah, and I think Bucky had one of the best quotes there in that piece. You're not just going flat out. There's some finesse to this. The term that I heard earlier was pedal finesse. Less is more when you're out there. You've got to get out there, and you've got to showcase those tech skills, Chris. Well, with this all being based on time, and we have penalties on the course if you do not complete an obstacle correct, it is all about being smooth to be fast. Well, let's dive a little deeper here into this Jeep Wrangler X Challenge course right now. You've got several different features to contend with out here today. Chris, take us through it. So here. You know, the biggest thing here, as you progress through the course, the time penalties increase. So this first section here, five second penalties if you hit a rock. Here's where it gets tough. This is a tight section coming in off of the chicane. Right here, 10 second penalties leading you to the end obstacle. If you mess up on the back, 20 seconds for this final obstacle. Yeah, some of those obstacles, you've got several penalties in one. That one up there in that dog leg left corner, they will tack on some points right there. And those rocks in the chicane, that's five seconds it's per rock that they will add onto your time. So this is how it works here at the Jeep Wrangler X Challenge for athletes. They get one shot at this and the fastest time on course wins. And again, we can't stress this enough. Those penalties will be assessed for driver error, basically going out of bounds on the different features or not utilizing all of the feature and what it has to offer. So, taking a look at our start list here, you've got Bucky Lassick, you've got Brian Deegan, Jackson Strong, and then of course, Casey Curry. Now these guys, all action sports enthusiasts, with the exception of Casey Curry, this is brand new to him. He is an X Games rookie. However, this Jeep stuff, this is his stock and trade. This guy started in racing all the way back at age five. So again, can't stress this enough, they're gonna get one shot at it out here today. But right now, most people know him from skateboarding vert fame. Let's get to know our first driver out here today. It's Bucky Lassick. My name is Bucky Lassick. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm a professional skateboarder. My favorite thing about skateboarding has got to be the creativity. You learn one thing, it leads to another. That thing leads to another. It opens up your mind. I'm just as passionate about cars as I am about skateboarding. It just so happened that I started skateboarding first. I also like to build the cars, work on the cars. In the past decade or so, I've driven just about everything that has wheels on it from go-karts, open wheel, to rally cars, but I've never raced in a trial course against other competitors, so I'm really looking forward to going out to X Games and driving in the Jeep Wrangler X Challenge because I want to challenge myself to compete against these other top guys. Uh, I'm pretty dang competitive, yeah. 
I'm trying to win. I'm not going there for the catering, I know that. <laughs> So Bucky, a very methodical skater, very technical as well. And I would think that those tech skills would translate well here into the uh, Jeep Wrangler X challenge for him. And another thing for him, for his racing background, he's used to being out there on the course with a bunch of other drivers, doing out there one at a time. This is different territory for Bucky. He's got such a mad skill set, you know, on the vert, then he's just a mad mad behind the wheel. I'm really curious to see how he does in this more slow, technical type of terrain here. So these guys are all going to be driving the same Jeep out here today. They'll be in the same equipment. They're running the Rubicon. So up onto the first feature here, this is the Tilt-A-Log. Now, you have to get both driver's side wheels up on that log and roll across the entirety of the log. I saw during practice these guys were having a hard time around this turn, setting you up to get through Stump Alley here. Well, if you hit any one of those rocks, it's a five-second penalty, and that's five seconds per rock as he gets into what the boys on the course design here have dubbed Stump Alley. It's funny watching these guys. It was a little different pace during practice, just trying to get through the obstacles versus, you know, really making through some time right now. Now, the bridge gets a little daunting right there. You're thinking, like, okay, it's just a straightaway. You can go through that bridge. There are some logs. Oh, he saves it. I thought he was going off the log. That would have been a 10-second penalty right there, but he salvages that one. Makes it up the last obstacle, the stair crawl, throwing up the horns. That's a great first line by Bucky Lassick to start it off here at the Jeep Wrangler X Challenge. Make a good use out of that Rubicon, Bucky. So going back to that bridge, you think, all right, that's just straight line. You can kind of gun it. Woo! No, there are some borders what? on that bridge. And if you do tap the borders, that is a penalty right. as well. How it is 10 that? seconds. That was so fun. Bucky obviously feeling it after that one, pretty excited. <laughs> a little bit better than how it went yesterday in practice for him. Up for you, Diggs. <laughs> yeah, that was just a really clean run, to be honest. Not, no need to back up. The, the competitors do have the option. If they miss an obstacle, they can back up to avoid the time penalty. Like you said, Jimmy, this is a tough, I mean, that bridge looks like you're just driving through, but if the competitor touches a tire on any either side of that bridge, they are deducted 10 seconds. Yeah, and you have to hit the brakes coming out of it because you get right into that second tilt-a-log feature. You saw Bucky hit the brakes there and he kind of slid a little bit. You have to slow down. That's what caused him to get a lo little loose there, almost losing that left front tire off the back side of the log there. By the way, when you see the flags out here, green flag means they have cleared the obstacle. No penalty assessed and they are free to move on to the next feature. A red would mean you've been assessed a penalty or you have the option of backing up and trying to redo the structure. So we'll see what happens with the time here. Bucky checking in. 57.8 seconds. He did get a 10 second penalty assessed to that run right there. So it was a 47.8 second run. However, tack on that 10 second penalty right there. We'll have to get confirmation on where that came on the run, but not a bad start there for Bucky Lassick. Before we move on to our next driver, let's check in right now with Diana down in the field. Thanks, Chris and Jimmy. You guys were saying earlier how amazing these Jeeps are coming stock. I mean, these are factory Jeeps. These guys, they're hitting the sway bar button inside the cab and it's maximizing the Jeep's articulation. The suspension is now moving independently, which can get them through the chicane, these tight turns and all these different elevations through the course. So let's see, I mean, you got a lot of drivers out here, very talented, but is Casey Curry, a guy who's never contended at X Games before, is he gonna take the gold? Could happen. We will have to wait and see. It's not a medal. You get a gold grill out here. So brand new event, and you get a brand new prize to walk away with as well. That is Brian Deegan, the mastermind behind the Metal Militia, the owner of 14 total X Games medals, known for his freestyle motocross prowess. Game Let's on. learn a little so bit more about him right now. Throw down. My first time at X Games was 99. Uh, freestyle motocross was just starting, so man, it's so much excitement. That was such a cool moment there in San Francisco. It's cool to go back to Winter X after you know almost a decade, <laughs> you know, to, to do the Jeep Wrangler X Challenge, which I think it's cool that Jeep's supporting X Games. You know, I'm gonna support anyone that helps action sports. I had many years doing freestyle motocross, you know, and eventually as I got older, I had to graduate into something, you know, I really loved off-road. And I got into off-road race trucks, you know, was able to win a lot of championships and that. And then I got into jeeping and going in the trails and it's a lot of stuff I did on my dirt bike was able to do it in a jeep. 
you know, my whole life's been about an adventure, and I think Jeep has helped me really do that. To be able to get to go back with the Jeep Wrangler X Challenge, like always, I'm there to win, so it's game on. He looked like he was yeah, having way to too much here. fun out there. Got Might have to get him in some Jeep Jackson promos Bucky here in the near future. Yeah, and you know, Deegan said it best. It's so <laughs> awesome for Jeep to be in involved with X Games and for us to be able to put an event together and have an all-star lineup like this is just incredible. Now, if you're thinking, all right, that's not my dad's Jeep out there. Yeah, these things are straight off the assembly line. They haven't added anything additional to these Rubicons out here. These are the exact same models that would come off the assembly line or that you would see in any showroom floor. So I'm a little surprised. I picture Deegan being way more aggressive, especially off of the start and just being, you know, he's got that madman following. I, I thought the same thing. I thought he's used to just going at it, pedal to the metal, and just going for it. And he's taking this slow. He got through that chicane. I think he navigated that a little bit better than what we saw out of Bucky. I think maybe what Brian saw out of Bucky's run is he did get that 10-second penalty. If he can be smooth and clean without having a penalty, it could be his for the taking. All right, so look at the time right there. He's getting close to what we saw for Bucky's time. So we'll see if there's a penalty added here. Getting up onto that tilt -a log And into one more feature here. The green flag is up. Has to go up into the stair crawl. So this is going to be close with Bucky's penalty. He was in that 57 second time frame. That <laughs> That feature right there, you've got a three-in-one combo there. You've got to start off. There's a rock that it's hard to see there from the uh, onboard cam there. It's on the left side. You have to get both driver's side tires over that rock. Then you have to go hard right. There's a high stump there that you have to get the right front tire on the X Games logo and then switch to the left side of that obstacle and do the same thing with your front left tire. Deegan smiling, throwing it up, claiming it. We are being told right, so that Deegs did Jeep not get any penalties. Awesome. Actually had a smooth run. I had to take it easy around the rock. I didn't want to give away my technique and then uh, laid it down. I think we did good. We'll see if Jackson can take me down because he is truly a beginner, okay? Well, we're halfway through the field, Brian, and you are currently sitting at first place with a 55.5 seconds. So we've got two drivers down. Still two to come here at the Jeep Wrangler X Challenge. Welcome back to Buttermilk Mountain, everyone. X Games Aspen 2019. We are smack dab in the middle of an inaugural event here this year. It is the Jeep Wrangler X Challenge. Four drivers in the mix out here today. Two of them have already gone. Brian Deegan is currently sitting in the top spot with the best time. Jackson Strong and Casey Curry still yet to go here. Jackson Strong, everybody remembers him from Freestyle Motocross and most recently, a snow bike best trick silver medal from this event last year. Let's get to know Jackson Jackson Strong right now. G'day, my name's Jackson Strong. I ride freestyle motocross and snow bike freestyle motocross. I'm from Lockhart, New South Wales in Australia. It's a uh, pretty remote location. My career highlights are definitely taking home gold medals from Summer X Games. It's something I want to take to winter as well, chasing that gold. I've been driving cars since I was about that tall. Growing up on a farm, it's just what you do out here. So nothing really competitive for me. I'm looking forward to getting over to Aspen and getting on the snow and the ice in the Jeep Wrangler. It's going to be a lot different to the dusty dirt roads we have out here. I'm super excited to go to Aspen and compete in the very first Jeep Wrangler X Challenge. I'm going to make it exciting, so make sure you're watching. So if you're watching that at home and you're wondering right now, was he actually holding a kangaroo? That is Skip. Meet Skip, ladies and gentlemen. Jackson actually rescued ready, Skip when his mother was run over by a car. Tag so yes, it. he has a kangaroo yeah, at home. What everyone else is doing. Uh, Skip would be right it. at home in that Winner. passenger seat. I, right I say, can we get Skip to ride shotgun there with the onboard cam? <laughs> is it? Do the rules state you can have a navigator out here? I don't know. So Jackson Strong on course right now. Brian Deegan currently has the best time. Sits in that number one position. As Jacko navigates that first feature right there, the tilt -a log and into the chicane. So we've seen two unique styles, really. I thought Bucky was super aggressive. It did cost him a year. Oh, we got oh, has to back up a little bit. Took that turn a little too hot. We saw that in practice, just not the right angle coming into it just set him up poorly because again with this obstacle there's three time penalty potential time penalties that 
if you don't line yourself up. Well, that's what I was talking about earlier. You've got to get over that rock that's on the, <laughs> the, on the left. Then you've got a high side stump on the right, and then one on the left, and he missed it. Had to back up a bit and get on that. Coming into the bridge here. Coming in a little hotter than the last two guys we saw on the last tilt-a-log right there. He's already at 55 seconds right here, barring any penalties as he's up the last feature here into the stair crawl. Yeah, that, that having to back up in the sh after the chicane corner, that really, oh, having a little fun there. Uh, by the way, if you end up hitting the start structure, that is also a 30-second penalty, by the way. We didn't mention that one earlier, but yes, that does come into play out here. Two Jackson guys. and uh, Brian Deegan, close friends from the Freestyle Motocross World. Actually, Jacko, a member of the Metal seconds. Militia as well. Well, it looks like Deegan got the best of him on that. But here, you know, it's so cool. I mean, again, we talk about like what Diana mentioned, the articulation with these. I mean, this is a stock vehicle. I, he came around, he, want, he didn't want to hit that rock, or does he clip it? I don't, it's hard to tell from right there, but otherwise he was going into the barricade and was going to go out of bounds. Navigating that Rubicon over the bridge. Looks like he gets through that one clear without hitting the border. Again, if you do hit that bridge border, those logs running along the sides there, that is a 10 second penalty. Jacko, out here having fun, pumped about this event. By the way, I sat in one of those things earlier, Diana and I actually drove them on course, and they have seat warmers in there, and there's a steering wheel heater as well. These things are pretty nice. Look at these guys out there, they're just laughing, having a good time. Deegan, Bucky Lassick, maybe a little bit of trash talking going on right there. So Jackson, a minute 2.1 seconds right there. Currently put him in third place with one more driver left to go here. I would say that so far, as far as the fun ratio is concerned, I'd say that's a success out here for the Jeep Wrangler X Challenge. We've got one more driver to go. This is his bread and butter. This is what he does all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, Yo. let's meet Corona California's Casey Curry. <laughs> Hey, I'm Casey Curry, and I am super excited to be competing at X Games this year in the Jeep Wrangler X Challenge. My background, I came from moto, switched to four wheels. I raced everything from short course, off-road, Dakar, King of the Hammers, you name it. If it's on four wheels in the dirt, you'll find me there. It's going to be super awesome to show the capabilities of a Jeep Wrangler on the obstacle course. This year at the Jeep Wrangler X Challenge, we have so many different unique obstacles that are gonna be super fun. It's gonna be exciting to be driving in the snow. You ready? Let's make and this happen. He's about to make Learning. it happen, and he's Come got on, Diana on board. Time. Diana Dahlgren's riding shotgun this go around, Chris. Hey, Diana, so you gave me a ride on the course there. Uh, how do you feel about being in my chair where I was when you gave me the You know spin? what? I'm really excited, you guys. I'm excited to see the Ace Ventura moves pulled <laughs> from inside the vehicle because that's going to be crucial to their success. All right, so Brian Deegan is the time to beat right now. I believe it's 57.5 seconds is what he posted in that Jeep Rubicon. Brian Deegan and Casey Curry take him down here. There you go, green light or green flag. Here we go. Casey Curry into this first feature right here, the tilt a log. Well, and I think Casey, he has the advantage of the previous three competitors going in front of him. I think this is the most important part here. Can't clip the oh, he has to go in reverse. Uh, so the same problem that Jacko had right there. And it looked like he might have backed into that rock right there. If that's the case, that is a five second penalty. It's going to be tough for him to recover from having to back up. Diana, how's that ride in there? He got through. Oh, and he's getting <laughs> loose. We're only at 35 seconds right now. You know what? He's trying to make up ground because I think what you were just saying is he did get a penalty, but we'll find out soon. The time is great. It all boils down to the penalties right now. I think he backed into that rock when he was trying to come around that left-hand turn into Stump Alley right there. I think that back left tire bumped into that rock right there. I don't know. We shall see. This one's going to be close, though. He's claiming it. His business, Curry Racing, they even make Jeep components like suspension kits and do full builds. So 
Stay with Running them. a full-time business well as being them. a driver. Yeah, and it looks like Casey's gonna get the win, the Jeep Wrangler X Challenge. No way. <laughs> Obviously no penalties assessed in that run, so he is going to get the first ever Golden Grill as we take a look back. Even with the backup after the chicane, you can tell the aggressive nature that Casey has from his off-road experience. Well, took him to the win. Right there, and I, well, no, barely, just, just barely. That's the luxury of getting to go last, but look at how loose he got right here in Stump Alley, trying to make up some time right there. Definitely had the hammer down in the last section. Uh, he was going through that thing a lot looser than I thought we would see anybody go through on that feature, and over that bridge as well. He's claiming Diana as his good luck charm right there, so. His first ever X Games, by the way, a rookie appearance and he's gonna walk out of here with a golden grill. How about that time? 46.6 yeah. seconds. And there you go, that one's gonna be a tough one to try to get through uh, the airport. I'm not sure you can claim that one for carry on. Let's send it down to Diana with our winner. Yeah. The rookie here at X Games. Casey, you've won so many championships in the off-roading community, and now you get to claim the gold, uh, the gold front end of a Jeep Wrangler. How does it feel? Oh, it's awesome. You know, to come out here with Jeep has been amazing. Uh, I've always dreamed of competing at X Games, and to be here is amazing. Uh, to have Deegan and Bucky and, and Jacko harassing me the whole time has been fun, and to actually beat them all is even better. So uh, I'm stoked. Thank you, Jeep. Monster Energy, everyone. This has been a phenomenal deal, and uh, I'm excited to be at X Games. It's a dream come true. Just got back from Dakar, and uh, we're up here in Aspen, Colorado, hanging out. Congratulations, Casey Curry, X Games rookie, takes the gold here. Well, Casey, welcome to the X Games party. And again, Chris, to go back to our earlier thoughts, doing this on stock off the assembly line Jeep Rubicons, what makes the Rubicon different? It's got a larger yeah. off-road capable front axle. You've got the disconnecting oh, sway so bar, right front now. rear locking differentials, and he was able to put it down in 47 seconds here on this challenge. Your final thoughts, sir? Well, just an awesome event. Again, the partnership with Jeep and X Games and these fine athletes can't get any better. Well, it was a hard fought battle, but in the end, the X Games rookie comes in and he walks out of here with the Golden Grill in the first ever Jeep Wrangler X Challenge. We'll be back after this message and a word from our ABC stations.